If you would like a nice, simple, easy to understand Bitcoin technical analysis with trade updates and upcoming trade setups, well, this, my friends, is the video for you. That's exactly what I'm going to be giving you in this video as we're coming up to a potential big short area. But for now, we are still in the long trade that I've been talking about for the last few videos that I've made. Long and strong from the back test of the Anchored View app. Wow, what profits we are in now. Three days later, $3,000 of profit off of that trade. And uh, so I'll be giving you an update on this one and exactly what we're looking at next. So I want to remind you, we'll give you some context of this latest rise. And before, yeah, I go over what we could be looking at as a very big, juicy short trade upcoming. So, uh, yeah, let's prepare you for that, right? So uh, it all stems back from the uh, prediction that I made live here on YouTube, uh, where we were looking for the pullback to test the anchored VWAP, which was also the low of that mini channel, right? We had that lovely scenario back test the anchored view app, reclaim the channel, big old pump to the upside. Well, we all know that prediction played perfectly. I do the magic line. We got the back test of the anchored view app. We got the reclaim. And well, here we see that lovely big old pump to the upside, right? Uh, but there was a few factors that we had going on here, right? If you remember at this point in time, we also had that potential triangle. And I just want to share a prediction that I made to the champions because I do feel that this obviously played out very nicely, but it was on top of, you know, the prediction that I shared here on, on YouTube, but with a little bit more depth in it that I was actually looking for a fake out of the triangle high to fake back down into the triangle low before continuation and this, you know, pump to the upside. So this is just so you can get into my brain of how I'm thinking, right? So we have obviously at the time broken out of the triangle. A lot of people could be viewing this as bullish. I want to see a pullback to that anchored VWAP. Why? Because as we then come back into the triangle that is when everyone's going to be thinking it was a fake out to the upside so they're going to be shorting but it ends in that higher low and continuation to the upside so we fake out the triangle high people come back in and we see that as bearish and they short to only fake out to form the higher low before continuation to the upside so it's almost a fake out of the fake out for continuation so you know th this is like the level that you have to get to when you're trying to think I, I would think the market basically of how people can be viewing these patterns how you can be almost like counter trading these standardized patterns and even counter trading the counter traders that are trying to fake out the fake outs right so it's a, it's a whole lot of complexity when you want to get down to it or you can simply follow along on youtube and get the simplified version of hit the anchored vwap pump well, that's obviously what we got in the end, and that's what we got going on now. So yeah, that, that's still the entry, okay? That's still the current trade. Obviously, I had a short trade from the swing failure pattern high. Of course, that actually got stopped, and, uh, you know, for continuation to let the long run. I've obviously had a short from the very high, long from the very low. Let the long run. Here we are today, $3,000 up. So um, I am looking for a higher here locally, and I want to be explaining where and why I'm looking for higher next, right? And I just want to make you aware, as I took that long live in the time, of course, I did update the champions. So that brings us up to more where we are now. And uh, this is uh, bringing it back to this triangle uh, scenario. And this actually has now hit the official triangle target. So this is the triangle target that we had. Of course, we had a few fake outs. But I just want to share something that I also said to the champions yesterday. And that was the more that I looked at $61,000, which last week I felt was very important. Then on Sunday, during the champions live stream, I was explaining to my team why I don't actually think $61,000 is an important level anymore. The more I look at it, the context and confluence that we have there is very low. I'm actually looking for a quick break through that level towards $63,000. And I ended up saying that this triangle target for me is still valid. Okay, even though we, of course, had seen you know a few fake outs for me that target was still very valid around sixty-three thousand dollars, and now we have hit that triangle target okay so we're up at that triangle target uh that you know that bit of a zone now and we're also just now coming through the weekly naked point of control that's now uh three thousand two hundred dollars as we're making our way up here so what we coming up to then where we got this very very important level uh slightly above us right and that will, of course, be this high from the well start of the month. Look at that. First of July. So why is this so important? Well, a few different factors, to be honest with you. First of all, of course, simple fact of liquidity. It's will we have liquidity resting above this level? We then have the daily and the naked point of control ever so slightly above. OK, what would be, well, what is <laughs> the monthly high as well? So we're talking about four factors of confluence above this level. You know me by now. I am very much a reactionary trader. 
This is where you got to have alert set ready and waiting for the high to be taken to make an informed decision. Okay, because one of two things you'll be looking for on this trade setup. Option number one, you take out $64,000, you end in a nice swing failure pattern with your trapped longs into the high. That gives you that wick to the downside, gives you a swing failure pattern, or you could be looking for the failed auction if we spend a little more time above the high before the fake out confirmation. Uh, but nevertheless, that short trade setup. Or alternatively, and this is why we trade the reaction, we simply blast through that level. There is no reaction, and we make our way on towards 65, or even $67,000, right? So um, this for me is a very important level of the current monthly high. And so the reaction here is key. Whether we get the short trade setup, activation, confirmation via a swing fire pattern or failed auction, or whether we get continuation with no reaction, and then yes, of course, the biggest level locally, we would be saying still is $67,500, you know. Um, in terms of local lower high scenario, okay, I would be paying very much close attention to the VWAP of the day, okay? So the VWAP currently held us up, first of all, this morning, uh, very nicely indeed. Igor even gave this as a long trade setup in his uh, daily morning update today. Uh, so we obviously pulled back to the VWAP and that has held perfectly and we're just making a new few new highs of the day right now. Uh, so while we're above the anchored VWAP, sorry, while we are above the session VWAP, we absolutely can be looking towards this 63,900, which is the current monthly high, okay? Psychological 64 is the daily just above it, right? So we got this little zone of a target and we can say that is the highest probability while we are seeing the anchored VWAP hold steady and strong. If we lose the session view app, my friends, that is where we could be looking for this scenario of, and again, at the moment, it's not the highest probability, but it's something that you need to be aware of, of another lower high in this downtrend. Because ultimately, this downtrend has been consisting of lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And if we are unable to breach 64K, this could be that lower high. While we're above the view app, we can be looking for that breach onto our big daily level above us. Okay. But if we are unable to um, breach this high and then we lose the session VWAP, well, that would be giving us this local sign of weakness where we could be looking for that lower high scenario. So you can kind of get into my brain here a little bit of how our, you know, there's several moving parts. I said at the start of this video, it will be an easy to understand technical analysis. I will refine that by saying easy to understand technical analysis if you have done our course and you've got the education and the theories locked up, then it's really not that difficult. It's just a little bit of patience required now. Um, I will share with you one very cool thing before we proceed, and that is the new feature that we've got on our website now, and that is the learning tracks. So now if you want to be a swing trader, or if you want to be a day trader or a sculpt trader, we have went through all of our massive video library, and we've handpicked the only videos that you will need to be watching for each style of trader. So I think this is a really nice way of getting the learning tracks on point. So if you only want to study the videos to be a sculpt trader, come into the sculpt trader section and watch the videos to know how to sculpt trade. Whereas if you only want to be a swing trader, you can come in here and watch the videos of how to be just a swing trader, right? So this is just a new addition taken from the course material, from the speed runs, put it all together into a <clears throat> more defined library of types of trader so this is a new addition to our website really positive feedback people are really liking this if you want to check it out of course you can via chartchampions.com in terms of the uh, trading account, still on the 100% win rate. I've actually got a dedicated altcoin live stream on Wednesday, so I'm going to get more actively back into this account. But yeah, account still going very strong indeed. This is, of course, the conservative trading account. And I will end by saying, uh, yeah, if you want to see, of course, live trading streams, uh, live trading streams, if you want the whole educational library, if you want these kind of updates in the Discord of when I'm taking long trades, what I'm looking at. Again, I want to emphasize we are not a signals group. Of course, we are also not giving financial advice, but we are giving uh, education, our thought processes, um, you know, trade setups to educate you and help you understand exactly what's going on over here. Okay, so like you could have absolutely uh, been very happy with the call that I made time in the absolute low on Bitcoin over on YouTube. Well, of course, we're getting much more alpha and much more consistent content via Chart Champions platform every day of the week. You're getting updates, you're getting trades, and uh, you're getting what you need. And that is simply the best here when it comes to trading. If you want to be part of this, chartchampions.com. 
Now we're sitting $3,300 and let's see if we can come and take out this high from the start of the month. That's what I'm looking at net next no shorts before that if you want to see my opinions upon hitting that level and getting the reaction of course first and foremost always going to go to the champions firechartchampions.com membership thank you ever so much hope you've enjoyed this check out our new learning tracks if you are a member and uh, for everybody else i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed these past few days of what can only be described as very lovely profits indeed so thank you ever so much hope you've had a good one and i'll see you over on the platform cheers everybody thank you and it's me signing out Goodbye.